the Bad Batch episode nine has already came, and so we have a we have some things to say. So this episode's about the Bad Batch going on some mission on some sort of desert-looking planet, but then it's revealed that it's a it was all a setup because they get their ship stolen and now they're stranded. Like I was, I was for sure trying to figure out who the figure was that was stealing their ship but I don't know we gotta find out next episode but who knows where they are like who knows if they'll get their ship back or and it's just sad to see the batch stranded but they had to do something they want to give the batch their lowest lows like they lost Echo when he didn't die last episode he's just he's hanging out with Rex and going on missions of him but the batch are on their own they got each other at least and Omega is just struggling they accept that that Echo isn't part of the team and she's mad at Tech because he doesn't seem to really care but we just know he does it's just he doesn't know how to express it and then they find I like how they're having Tech get more character other than kind of can see he's kind of robotic like he's just all about being smart, like stuff, and being the brains of the group, he doesn't really show any other human emotion, even though he is a clone. And I love the world that this desert world, like it's really well crafted. It reminds me of some of the desert scenes in Indiana Jones. And they end up going into this cave after getting tumbled on these, like these, uh, these, a bunch of these creatures. I don't know what they are. They, they like move really fast. It's like if you. It's like kind of reminds me of the Lion King where the the Simba's dad dies because he was cr- crushed to death by a bunch of bulls. I'm pretty sure it was, and that's what it reminded me of. I was for sure Wrecker was gonna get injured because he falls into the crowd because they also had this bomb they had to protect. Because if it went off, they'd all be dead, and Wrecker had to get it. I thought he was gonna be injured, but no, he was just doing just fine. And so when they are in the cave, they're trapped. After an explosion happens as well. And then Omega is just more upset because Echo's gone. And then Hunter kind of criticizes um, Tech and tells him to go apologize to Omega. And think more of a plan to get out. And and so he does. He tries to. Sort of. By a. When Omega's trying to get these crystal things. I thought those were lightsaber things at first. But no, they're like this, these things that create explosives. Like this gel. But ends, Omega ends up falling into a waterfall. And then Tech has to fall. Jumps along. And then he to save her. And then they fall into this beautiful looking um, waterfall. And then it's like really colorful. Blue, dark at the same time. And Hunter and Wrecker try finding them. And during that, Omega and Tech finally have to talk about how Tech is trying to say how he must move on. Like, he moved on from Crosshair and Echo, but he said he doesn't know how, like I said, he doesn't know how to express his desire for Echo. But I guess they did work it out in the end. I wish we could have had a scene where Tech was like, sorry, I felt like... A moment like that could have made him more human, but um, it was like a little nitpick I had for sure. And and next, they do get out of the cave when Hunter and the and and Wrecker all fall down the cave, and then they end up exploding half the cave, and then they find this little abandoned hideout, and they try contacting Sid, and of course Sid is kind of cold. They she just says like. She'll help him out in a few days. She didn't really seem to care that they're stranded. It's can you just notice how hypocritical Sid is? Like she had the batch help her in the speeder episode where they she was she was gonna the gang lords are gonna do bad things to her, but then but now the batch have something going on and then and then Sid's kinda just like I don't care and then and then like it's kinda it's kinda just shows that I, I was kinda rooting for Sid to be better. But now it just feels like she's kind of just, just doesn't really seem to care that much about others. It's all about the money for her. That's what I don't like about Sid. Oh, she's an eh kind of character in my opinion. 
She's just kind of those slimy ones for sure. And maybe they're trying to explore that, but who knows if the batch is done with Sid. Maybe the batch will move somewhere else. I mean, they were able to go through Coruscant. But I don't know. I, like, Sid is definitely the annoying type character for sure. So, if I had to be honest about this episode, I liked it. It it was definitely more motivating of an episode than the last few. I mean, those last two episodes were awesome. But yeah, they it was certainly better than the other bo- kind of boring episodes of the Bad Patch. I think the season's getting a little better, like with its story. It feels pacing. It feels like it's all connected. That's what I'm seeing. Like there's some characters I'm not really seeing, like uh, Sid, or like I said. I wish Echo was back. It's definitely nice to see the batch process it for sure. I'd probably rate this episode like a like a low seven out of ten, maybe high seven point five out of ten. So tell me, what do you think of the bad batch crossing episode? So with that said, thanks for watching and may the force be with you always.